What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day today, and I hope you know that it's to your joy. Welcome to my arms, joyful life. Today's a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. So, you guys, today I wanted to come in here with this short video to remind you guys of something, an epiphany that I had today. And it was really very important for me to make this video because I know that there are some of you guys who will come across this video and this video will benefit you in a big way. But right now, it's raining outside. So you guys might hear the sound of rain. I just love the sound of rain. Don't you just love the sound of rain? The sound of rain? I'm happy though that we got here on time before it started raining. So literally we got here like three minutes later and it started raining. So I'm grateful that we didn't get wet. But anyways, I love rain. The weather is beautiful. Season is changing. And I really usually love the fall season, which is amazing and awesome. But let's go into the video today, you guys. So today, while I was at church, I go to Limitless Church with uh, Pastor Kim. She's actually a bishop, Bishop Kim. So Real Talk Kim, for those of you who, follow, who may not know her, but who may have heard of Real Talk Kim. But yeah, she is my pastor, and I'm very grateful that I'm a part of her church and everything. So one thing that she really drove home to me today during the sermon was that the people that you're around usually influence your life in a big way. There are some baggage that you're carrying that are really not yours to carry. They're on you because of the people you are associating with. There are troubles you're going through in your life right now that you didn't create. It's as a result of your association with the wrong people, the wrong crowd. Perhaps you're always hanging around people who don't see your worth, who always talk down on people, who gossip about people. When they see somebody doing something great with their life, they gossip, they make it sound like it's a bad thing you know, for your life to, to be wonderful, for you to be experiencing um, abundance in your life. If you're around people like that, you are indirectly saying that your life, you want your life to suck, you don't like abundance. Even if you're not, you're not okay with what they say, but because you're around them and you listen to them all the time, that negative energy, that attack on, on prosperity, on good things happening in the lives of other people, it'll affect you. Because one thing from my experience, what I've noticed it, is that people who, people who, who talk about people who are prospering like it's a bad thing, people who talk bad about other people because life is going well, who are jealous and envious because that's a way of, that's another, another, um, what do you call it? Another expression, another way of being jealous of people just because you don't have what they have and, and new things are happening in their lives and you're talking bad about them saying that now that they are prospering, perhaps they're just going to start acting like they're better than everybody else. Like, when you're around people who talk like that, who speak like that, it does affect you. If you're somebody who wants to prosper, who wants to have a better life, who wants to be happy with life, and who wants goodness, you know, joy and sweetness to flow into your life, you better change your company. And you know, it really got me thinking because prior to meeting uh, Pastor Kim and going to her church and really getting involved, my life was in shambles. Like you guys know, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I've always been a happy person, but you guys understood that I had so many blocks and setbacks in my life. And it was just like, I couldn't break through. Although I was encouraging people and I was kept telling them not to give up because of course, even in the midst of my struggles, I didn't give up. I still believe things were going to work out for me. But see, I was in a relationship with somebody who was so negative and who always saw the negative aspect of it. And because my heart is so I'm naturally a loving person, my heart was so open and I didn't have any boundaries with, with how much of the crap I was going to allow my body, my subconscious mind to, to absorb. It really affected me. It really affected me. So the image of a loser that that person I was with created about me, it felt like I was becoming that person. But still within me, there was a fire burning. There was a hope, a belief in me, a fire in me that my life was not going to end up like this. That I refuse to be what somebody, what somebody projects I'm going to be. That regardless of the fact that, you know, up until now, it seemed like things aren't working out in my life and I've had... So many setbacks, so many frustrating situations that have happened that could have made me give up and say, you know what, what's the point? Why do I keep praying when I'm not seeing the answers? Why do I keep praying and pushing when it feels like every time I try to push to get something, nothing is happening? They had, like, they had every reason to tell me to give up. They had every reason to just laugh at me and tell me, you know what, it's not working. But guess what? I still refuse to allow myself to believe it was, that was the end for me. Yes, a lot of the blessings that could have come into my life 
They were blocked because of that negative energy, because I was, I was deep in the mud. I was swimming in the mud with somebody who was so full of negativity. And I was around negative people. Like the, oh, the people around me were very negative. They were. But still within me, I didn't let my positivity to die. They, they didn't like it when I was still happy. I was still hopeful. I still had faith. I still prayed. I still believed. I still smiled. They expected me to allow the circumstance to really weigh on me and, and steal my joy and steal my, my, my positive outlook. But I didn't let that because I couldn't. I didn't, I didn't want myself to believe that my life was going to end in setbacks. There's a series of setbacks and, and just hurtful situations and nothing good ever coming in, into my life. I refused it. So anyways, when, when, when I kept praying and trusting God and started meditating, like I've told you guys before, and things started, it seemed like things were escalating in my life with my relationship breaking apart and all kinds of terrible things happening. And of course, the people I believed in, the kind of church I was going to, the kind of people and mentality I was around, it was horrible. I knew that was not what I wanted. But because there was in me, there was this, I don't know what, what, I, what, I, what I want to call it right now, but there was this, that I didn't really have clarity as to what kind of people I wanted around me, whether or not they call themselves children of God or Christians or whatever, or pastors. I didn't really understand that I had to use my own sense, you know, my own, my own sense to be able to choose. If somebody you're around, they don't have the things that you're seeking currently for yourself. They are not happy. Their lives, they're not prosperous. You know what I mean? And it seems like they're always blaming somebody else and outside circumstances for what they're going through. They never really take responsibility for their lives. And they want you to always feel like it's somebody else's fault, somebody else's fault. It's like, you need to get away from that person because your life can only change when you make a decision that your life will change. For me, I was ready for my life to change and I was open. I was like, you know what, God, I, I just need, I know there's something I'm missing here and I want to know what it is I'm missing because I've done the prayer, I've done the fasting, but still nothing was changing. But when I, when I got introduced to meditation, I found out about meditation, I, I, I just started seeking. Nobody told me, start meditating, start doing this. I started seeking and then meditation came into my view. I was guided. I started meditating and my life changed. Everything that seemed to be happening at that time seemed like my life was going, it was going to be over for me, but it wasn't. It was actually a setup for, for a better life. Anyways, right now, I go to um, Limitless Church, and I really love the energy. Since I started going to um, Limitless Church and being around Pastor Kim and a positive energy and just breaking things out, uh, down as they are and telling me that, you know, your life actually is always going to be the average of the five people that you're around and the, the energy that you're around. And I recognized that, you know what? I used to feel so awful. I used to, to try to defend myself, even on YouTube, to get people to not unsubscribe. I used to do so much. Like I was trying too hard to get people to like me, to follow me, to be a part of my world. But now I don't do that anymore. I lost that slavery mentality. That, that yoke that held me bound was broken. My life is different. I realize now that I'm happy. I love myself. I can be by myself. Even if I don't do YouTube anymore, I'll, be, I'll still be fine. I'll be okay. That's not to say that I'm not going to do YouTube. I'm still going to do it because I know that there are so many people out there who are bound by circumstances. They are around people who are not really serving them. And they are trying so hard to try to change themselves to fit into the mold that whoever they are around will feel happy with them. They are always changing themselves to make other people happy. They are not authentic to who they truly are. Like me, being authentic to myself is knowing that I love God. I love to pray. I love to serve. I love being happy. I don't like being forced to do what I don't want to do. I love, I love being prosperous, having money and things to, for myself and to also give. I, love, I, I just love sharing. I just, I just love being used by God for myself and for others. I just love positivity. I just love to believe that no matter how difficult things are, they're going to change. I love to have a pos positive outlook on life because I know that I can count. And this is one thing also today that today's message really, really uh, reminded me of. If I wasn't positive, I didn't hold on to God. If I didn't believe that something better was going to come out of my life, it's, I didn't believe that I could be happy. And I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I wouldn't need anybody to make me happy. That like I don't have to try too hard to, to try to make somebody happy, somebody who does not want to be happy. I realized that my happiness is my own responsibility. And I, I, don't, try, I don't need to try to make people like me or, or make people happy. I just need to be happy and do what makes me happy. And refuse to allow myself to be influenced by negative people. When I became aware of this, of this power, that all I have to do is change me and love me and not try too hard to make, too hard to make people accept me. Things change for me. Things change for me.
So what am I telling you today? Start thinking about yourself. Start being who you want to be. Start being real to yourself. Start accepting yourself and saying yes to you. If saying yes to other people means saying no to yourself, Stop saying yes to other people. If truly in your heart, what they're telling you to do and asking you to do is not what you want to do, don't do it. For me, in the past, I felt like I was obligated to meet other people's needs and, and just neglect myself. But now I don't neglect myself. So I want to encourage you that things can change, but you, you do need to pay attention to yourself. Do understand that the only person to change is you. And if you're around negative people and energy, stop trying to change them. You change you. Because when you change, everything that is, not, that is not vibrating at that level of the new you will have to fall off. It will mean a completely different life than you've ever known. But it's good. Because now you found your peace and your power. And now you're opening up the door and the way for the right people to come into your life. Now you're going to bed sleeping good and not feeling anxious about life. Now you know you've got the power to change whatever it is that you do not want. I'm telling you this because I've, I've suffered. I've been through hell. But now I'm enjoying life. Now I have my power back. And I want you to have your power back. So I want to say once again thank you to Pastor Kim because she's been a blessing to me. I mean, the energy is so amazing. Like, I love going to church. My children, I love taking them to church. It's been so amazing. You know what I mean? I really want to acknowledge all the people who have impacted my life. But I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to the angels who guided me to meditation. The angels and spiritual teachers who guide me that I don't even know of, but my spirit knows so well. My soul knows so well. So I'm telling you, when you become open, you will be guided. God will send people and, and, and messages to you. Just keep guiding yourself to the right things, the places, the books, the messages, the videos. Those of you who watched this video, you were guided. You needed the message. That's why you came here. All right. Know that you can be all that your heart desires to be. Nothing can stop you. All right. I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. So thank you for watching today. I love you. Give yourself a hug. <sighs> I love you, Mariam. I love you. Tell yourself you love yourself. Tell yourself you accept yourself. Tell yourself, yes, I say yes to me. I say yes to Mariam. Do it. It's very powerful. Do it. All right. So I appreciate you guys for watching today. Make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. I can see you now later.